Renewable source of energy has been the buzzword recently. In fact, Prime Minister Modi has raised renewable energy targets to 450 gigawatts by 2030 from 175 gigawatt by 2022, wherein solar power capacity shall have a major share. The government and regulatory machinery are working together on this ramp up. Ministry of New and Renewable Energy has set a FY22 target for state electricity boards to source 21% of their overall power requirement from renewable energy. 10.5% of this will be from solar and 10.5% from other sources. Solar capacity, in fact, is up 10 times from FY15 to current 37 gigawatts. And according to Jeffries, an incremental 109 gigawatts of solar capacity is required by FY25 to meet the set targets. Presently, the solar power sector in India is heavily dependent on imported solar cells and modules. India imports 80 to 90 percent of solar equipments from China, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Thailand. The big players in our own markets include the likes of Renew Power, Adani Green, Tata Power, NTPC, etc. These are some of the big players in the listed space, and they are betting big on this space. In fact, Tata Power has recently rolled out live peer to peer solar energy trading project. According to Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, India has a limited domestic solar manufacturing capacity of around 3 gigawatt for solar cells and 15 gigawatt for solar modules. However, the capacity utilization of domestic manufacturers is just about 40 to 45 percent. There has been a long pending demand from the industry for the government to levy basic customs duty and set out a definite structure for imports. So, to promote domestic cell and module manufacturing in India and to reduce dependence on imports, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy has proposed basic customs duty recently on the 9th of March of 40% on solar modules and 25% on solar cells. This will be with effect from 1st April 2022. Important to note, there is already a 14.5% safeguard duty applicable on these imports from China, Thailand, Vietnam, applicable till July 2021. Care rating says that the tariffs for solar power are expected to increase due to this by approximately 25 to 30 paisa, that is, in case only cells are imported, whereas the tariffs are expected to increase by 40 to 45 paisa in case modules are directly imported, that is a 20% rise basically. And if we talk about what happens next and as a result of this, the capacity utilization of existing domestic manufacturers is expected to get a fill up, of course. While clarity on duty structure a year in advance is positive, many developers would try and push their project completion timelines before end of March 2022. And the sudden surge in the demand for imported cells and modules could result in increase in their prices and in case there are insufficient supplies as well. Also, there is a slight possibility that exporters could try and dump maximum solar cells and modules in India before March 31st, 2022, which will have an impact on the steep increase in module prices. Just leaving you with some data on what is the impact of using renewable sources of energy versus traditional source of energy on our environment. Well, this could be a game changer in the industry in the long run, right? But there is still pipeline capacity of 53 gigawatt, that is 341 projects in the solar energy space. However, a very important aspect is companies bidding for this sensibly and not at low returns, replicating the thermal power issues India has seen in the past. People don't know much about solar energy, but they are now warming up to that idea.